Lads, congratulations on that. How does it feel? Oh, you can't put it into words, really. I mean, when we first started out this competition, we had high hopes and ambitions, but when you actually get your hands on the cup, it's a different thing, and we're all just absolutely over the moon. Ryan, massive win tonight, and a goal for yourself as well. Must be very proud. Yeah, I think that was one of the best goals I've scored in my life, just for the fact, the importance of it, and that. And I couldn't have won it with a better 11 players on the pitch and the subs and all the staff and everyone who's been in the squad throughout the year. So it's been amazing. Everybody talks about Southampton's academy, the young players that are coming through. That must be vindication for the work that you're doing here, showing that you've got some great young players coming through. I think definitely. And uh, like you say, the victory tonight just tops it off and a trophy sort of shows the hard work all the staff and the players are putting in. And it's the Southampton way. I mean, we've got a way of doing things here and we will abide by it. And uh, like, you, like you've seen tonight, it's successful and it works. Ryan, where does that goal stand amongst the goals that you've scored so far in your career? It must be up there. Yeah, definitely the best one. I mean, never scored in a cup final before. Obviously, it's the first one with Southampton. And it just feels amazing. To win a trophy, you've been, we've, me and Mako have been here since 8, 7, 8. And to win something together as well, just the best feeling ever. 12,000 people in the stadium as well today cheering you on. How big an impact did that make? Oh, it was outstanding. I mean, we heard all the hype before the kickoff, and it gave us all so much. So much uh, it helped us so much and uh, it's really spurred us on. And tonight uh, we just looked to them for in inspiration at times and we needed it at times and uh, we did it the hard way but without them I don't think it would have been possible and it doesn't ever seem to surprise me and it's just great support tonight and I'd like to thank all the fans that come. You did have to dig deep at times especially after that equaliser I suppose that shows the character in the team to come back on, on such a big occasion. I think it does yeah and I think the crowd helped as well to really push us on. And especially in extra time when Sammy G's put that in and out, I was just so buzzing on the sidelines. <laughs> is that an extra special victory given that you've all been, I mean you two especially, have been here since since you were a very young age? Yeah, 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 this is the first thing I've ever won, ever. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. Like Seeger said earlier, me, him, Tiggs, Matty Target and uh, Jake Heskey have all been together since the age of seven, eight. And just to come through together with all the lads. It's not just us though, it's the whole squad. And you see the subs that come off the bench tonight and did a ma had a massive input. But yeah, for us guys, it's been here since toddlers. It's an amazing feeling. Was it a little bit nerve-wracking watching that from the from the sidelines in the last few minutes? <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, it was the longest 30 minutes of my life just watching that. But yeah, just so happy they won. Big out and won. And Mike, I've got to ask you, what did that feel like lifting the trophy at St Mary's in front of all these supporters? Amazing. And he asked me a couple of days ago yeah, if I've dreamed of it, and of course I did. And now it's a dream come true because I've done it. And uh, we fully deserve it. We dug deep, and like you said, we had to do it the hard way, and it's ours now.